Oh boy, it's going to be a great Christmas break. I've got Sega Saturn games like Wongon Midnight, Willy Wombat, and even Toge King the Spirits. Oh, I can't wait to take some time off and play some real video games, but dang, this is... Oh, oh boy, there! Norwegian Santa! No, I am the ghost of... Yeah, but you look like Santa. I'm not Santa, I am the ghost of Phoenix Pass. What, like Phoenix Games? Yes, and I'm here to take you on a journey through 12 days of Phoenix. God, no. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Merry Christmas, motherfucker! First game, first day! Here you go. Power Volleyball. This is Beach Volleyball. What a terrific time of year for Beach Volleyball. Indeed. You know, this actually reminds me of a game I have over here. It's uh, Beach Spikers from Sega. It don't be that! I don't want this kind of good software in my house! It, it's actually, um, it's actually my house. Doesn't matter! To the game station! Time to open this bad boy. It is sealed. I can generate them at will out of my body. Smell it, young man. It smells familiar, doesn't it? Well, you haven't been with women, so maybe not. All right, ghost. So, uh, what do we do here? Well, you select the woman of choice. I see. These are based on the women I saw in Bangladesh back in 1972 during my time at the Ghost Academy. Spring break. Woohoo. All right, well. Do you like loading, young man? No. Do you don't have time in life? I don't have time. Well, that, that's too bad, actually, because uh, that's one of the special features that I designed personally. Is that we load for three times the length. How do you feel about jaggies, little man? You like the um, jaggies? They taste good, don't they? Yes. Well, you got lots of them here. In fact, you could say the whole game is one big jaggy. Wow, this is... Uh... It is great, isn't it? It's warm. It's colorful. It's full of these delightful young ladies, Betty, Mondi, and I don't know what the two others were named, but they were my sisters. Ah, oh, that's how you serve. Exactly. You know, young man, if you get the shorts right now, we can go outside. I'll teach you how to play. But it's winter. That doesn't matter. The snow is just white sand. <laughs> <laughs> next day, next game. Here you go, my little friend. Sniper Assault. Sniper Assault? This... Is this like that game Silent Scope? No, my friend! It is anything but silent, and it's much better. Wait, but isn't that the whole point of being a sniper, to be silent? Why don't they just call it Assault? Oh, well, I will forward that amazing idea to the catering services, which is also the game design department. But for now, to the game station! Ah, okay. So, what's this game about? Well, it's about assaulting people while sniping. Oh, this looks like Kill Switch. Though we didn't have time to get to the sniping part, so... Oh. Ah, uh, just it, run it, out there wait. and show yourself. Isn't this just Kill Switch from Namco? Well, I never heard of that game. Can't be that good. Shoot the people, young man. Yes, shoot him. In the back there. Yes. Then in the window. I kind of like this better than the volleyball game, though. Ah. So you're more for shooting people than playing ball, I see. I am American. Oh. Well, that explains <laughs> a lot. <laughs> This is just a shooting gallery, so when do you actually get to the sniping? Sniping? Oh, you want sniping? I mean, it's called Sniper Assault, right? Yes, but that's just a name. Your name is John. That doesn't mean you John surround, do you? You got me there, ghost. Yes. I usually do get people good. Well, let me put in uh, a good name. What do you think? I'm liking where this is heading. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ford! You can't even spell correctly. <laughs> another day, another game, lad. And what awaits you on this fast-forward day? But... 
M Motocross Maniac? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, look at that flaming hot phoenix. Oh, so flaming hot. Not just on the screen, but also in other place. This sure is taking a while, Ghost. Yes, I told you. It is my patented 3x loading times. Is that what the X stands for in the in the title? Well, no, that's unrelated. It's another X. That's the fourth one. But the 3x loading is my design. Now, can you spell your own name this time? I'll try. No promises, though. Ah, okay. well. I've gotten used to not expecting much. And we're only three games in. I don't know, Ghost. This is pretty bad loading times. I mean, why would you... It's not a bad loading time. It is a loading time. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, Ghost, the frame rate. What? Frame rate? Yes. I'm not familiar with the concept. <laughs> I see that. Well, it moves, doesn't it? Yes, it's a, yes, mo well, it's a moving that picture. I make art. It's I do not make a rate. Wait, this is art? Yes. So, this seems to be running at 25 frames per second or worse. Well, that's, that's double ditches. How much do you need? Tell me. Tell me a number. 50. 50? I thought this was supposed to be like a stadium or something. Yes, it is a stadium. But the other one said warehouse. This also looks like a warehouse. No, it's just a stadium warehouse. Do you have to be so <laughs> particular about anything? Yes. But what about Metal, metal Donkey? Yes, Lucky what Pup? about him? Churner? Who came up with those names? I did. It's well, my children's names. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, what about this? I'm going to play Mucky Pup. Ah, yes, Mucky Pup. My firstborn. Really? Yes. You put them in the game? I did. Did they get anything from the earnings on this game? Earnings? Yes, you know, you sell the game in the store, make some money. Make money? I like the skylights, though. You've got the fake uh, volumetric lighting. Ah, yes, volumetric lighting, global illumination, you know, I actually designed those things. Really? Yes. It was a company that came to me, Epic, and they asked me, how can we integrate this into something unreal? And I said, not a problem. I have lots of software for you. I sent them all these games as well. Oh, so Unreal Engine is based on Phoenix games? Well, yes, it's based on my design. But I didn't feel like using it in these games, you know. It feels a bit egotistical. Perhaps. Dynamite 100? Boom! I'm not playing 100 of these! Okay, well... Oh no, this is... This is the game with like 100 games, isn't it? In one. In one? Oh no. Uh, oh my goodness. So you have Pingus, you have Double, you have Marksman, you have Dammon. Wait, isn't that women? No, that's Oh, that's one M. Yes. You have Froggy, you have Strike, you have Subspace, you have Intestors, you have Satellite Wars, you have Hockey, you have Pingus, you have Double. I think you have... This is Double. I'm, I'm seeing Cross-Eyed. <laughs> the concept of this was to create easy family fun on a modern console and oh, release it on time. Is this like... What is this? Is this like tanks battling it out? Like battle tanks? Or? You would say it's a battle tank or a tank battle. It doesn't really matter... As uh -huh. long as you don't infringe on the copyrights. Okay. Player one versus CP. I am ready. Let's go. And these graphics, young man, are generated in real time. Really? Yes. All three objects on screen. Uh, I think I'm the green one. Are you? Yes. Now it's... let's play with scissors. Okay. No, it's two player. We can't do that. Ah, oh, fine. You don't have. Phones. You didn't bring a second controller. Yes, well, I, I didn't... How about, we, how about we play you? Oh, little boy. That's also two players. Who's the fool <laughs> now? <laughs> All right, Ghost. It's a new day, a new game, I suppose, huh? But yet you're in the same clothes as ever. But here is a new game! Whoa, Ace Combat? I love this series. No, no, no. Turn that around. Combat Ace? Yes! So... Is this anywhere near the quality of the series from the legendary arcade developer Namco? Uh, I've never heard of them, so they can't be that legendary. But no, this is better. Okay. But let's take to the skies, young man. Soar up. It's time to go to the game station. Ghost, that was pretty quick loading. Yes. 
Uh, we didn't employ my 3x loading in this because uh, the technology wasn't quite ready by the time we released this in 2008. Ah. Uh, there, there's an enemy plane that keeps coming up behind me. Yes, that's called the enemy. I'm out of missiles. Yes, you keep wasting everything you have. Story of your life. This is the probably the best game yet. Woo! You heard that, people? He said it was good. <laughs> All right, based on this, I'm going to say this is the best game we've played today. Woo. It's it's mindless, but it works. So, young lad, here's the next game. Street Fu Street Warrior? What the heck is this? Aha, uh -huh. it's based on the true events of my young life, in fact, young man. But, like, look at this cover. It's like the worst thing I've ever seen. I'll have you know, little man, that this was actually my Christmas card of 1976. The what year of Phoenix. But what even is this thing? It looks terrible. Buckle up, son. We're gonna take to the streets and go to the game station. Now you use your bronze and your wit, boy. This is, uh, uh... So... Yes, you can punch them in the kidneys right there. So this is like Streets of... keep punching them in the kidneys. It will break eventually. This is like Streets of Rage or Final Fight, but... You never heard of them. But terrible. That'd be that good. Now, I would never run from a fight like this. I would stay to the very end. Like that Mel Gibson in that movie. Beethoven 2. This is really bad. Is it? You think this is bad? This you've might... never lived on the bad streets like I have, boy. This is the worst this game. This is how it is. This is the worst game you've brought so far. It is not. It is the most realistic game. It's just that you're being beaten up, which would also be quite realistic. I mean, it does run at 50 frames per second at least. I dare you have all your 50 frames at once. That's what I always did, I'm all day. I'm pressing the button. At night, I would walk around and I would punch random people in the kidneys just to practice. For one day, I would have to use it. Did you? Not yet. This is not how I designed the game to be used. This is like a jogging simulator because of you. <laughs> Look at this. You're ruining the, oh, the whole feeling. Can I go back here? No, no. Stay in, stay in the fight, boy. I'll just fight back here. Well, now we can't see anything. Ah, you're ruining my creation, boy. <laughs> How, what's and this? And now you're just back to the power jog. Stop doing this. <laughs> I hate you. Well, that's just your teenage rebellion talking, young man. But here's the next game. Hopefully you feel better about this. Space Rebellion. I guess your sourness is galactic today, huh, young man? Uh, well, you know what, actually? This doesn't look too bad from these screenshots, but that probably will only mean the disappointment's worse. I only heard the word great. Now, take me to the moon, young man, and let's go to the game station. So what's this one about? Well, it's about space, it's about a rebellion, it's about an empire. The story isn't that important. Oh, okay. But it was quite groundbreaking when we released this game. Wait a minute. What? What is it, boy? Didn't, didn't we just play this? No, we, I assure you, we did not. This is... This is, uh... This is just like, a uh, Combat Ace. No, it's not. Wait, it even has the... It has the same... Yeah, yeah, the same not, UI. It's not the same. They just replaced the biplane with, like, a ugly yellow triangle. That's not a triangle, that's a spaceship. Very difficult to not die, though, I gotta say. Well, you need to learn the system. It's quite complicated. Is it? Not really. Man, the, all the, the particle effects are so close to the camera that it's causing the frame rate to drop. I right, keep going, keep going. Tell me how advanced this game is. You play this. Oh, gladly. Another day, another game. Here Great. you go, young one. Wait, this one's a PS1 game. Yes, ha aren't you one of those old men on YouTube talking about retro games, young boy? Let's take a shot at it. Let's go to the game station. Wait a minute. What? 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 What now? This is the, this is the sniper game. No, it's not. It's hot shot. But it's... No, it's hot shot. I double checked. Says so on the label. It's hot shot. This is literally the same game. Why you keep talk? seeing this, but uh, I'm not seeing it, boy. I'm not seeing it. It's quite different. This is like a light gun game, but it's... Better. Of... Bigger guns, bigger people, 3D graphics. Now, this was new, wasn't it? And you know when this released? When? 
2008 boy. This is from 2008? Ah, uh, somewhere around that. You, you take it. Yep. We're still going billiards later, right? Right? Shadow of Ganymede. Ah, uh -huh, yes, Ganymede! A great game! And a highly contagious disease from what I've heard. Uh, so which one am I holding? <laughs> oh, young man, it's too late for you anyway. It doesn't matter. Oh, what about that loading screen, huh? Impressive, isn't it? Hmm? Hmm? Mm. You look at the you stars, know, you look at the planets. I played something like this. Uh, it was on the Philips CDI. Oh, yes, I like that system. Good one. Quite revolutionary, <laughs> isn't it? Some challenge here. Of course. Without challenge, there would be no game. And without a game, there would be no Phoenix. Please back up. Have you ever heard of the Atari Jaguar? Uh, absolutely. I always want to work on that system. There's this game called Trevor McFur the Crescent Galaxy. It's a lot uh, of games. Yes, one of my favorite games that I haven't designed myself. Yes, I'm familiar with it. <laughs> was, was that Good a, old McFur. Is that an inspiration for this? Perhaps? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting indeed. <laughs> this game off. It's giving me leprosy. Uh, Maniac Mole? You know what I'm nostalgic for? Oh, what's that, young boy? Mole Mania. Well, they clearly copied us when they made that game. Let's dig into this one, though. To the game station. Oh, no. Ah, yes. Taking a while. It's a beautiful load screen, though. That, that effect, it always gets me. It gets me right here. How about them Lakers? We've been here for an hour waiting on this. Is what it almost finished? The secret is, John, he's a maniac. He's a maniac on the floor. Now do a double jump. There is no double jump. Oh. Nice texture in the background there. Yes. What is that? You know, that was, uh, you, you're so into these pixels. That was three pixels big boy. But I stretched it. I stretched it to 200 with my own technology. Called upscaling? Yes. <laughs> and paint. All right, brother. Step into the room. Open the next game. All right, brother. World Championship Wrestling. Let's do this. Uh, actually, that's World Wrestling Championship. You can't really screw up a wrestling game, can you? I mean, it's just a bunch of chaos in the ring, and, you know, it's, it's probably the best you can expect from Phoenix Games, but hey. Oh, that's right, baby! Step, Step into the, the game station! station. The 12 days of Phoenix is over! Oh, 12 days of Phoenix. I'd assume I'd been in hell this whole time. Oh, I'll send you my address there. I have a summer house. Stay in touch. Now look at them pretty flowers. It's a happy game. It's a happy game. It's only 12 days of this stuff, right? So... 12 excellent days, I might add. Uh, yes. But to everyone that's watched and supported the channel, what can I say but Merry Christmas? And wait, what's that in your hand there? Oh, I have one more game for you. And in fact, maybe I'll come back next year and we'll take a look at this cat. Here you go. See you around, chum. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>